Come in, come in. What's your name? Holly. Surname, Sir. Holly Sir. Right, confirm your date of birth for me. 18th of March, 1995. Right, Holly, how can I help you today? Body odour. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Right, now where is this body odour coming from? Feet. Underarms, mouth and groin regions. Okay, I'm just gathering my thoughts. Okay, yeah, just gathering them. Right, okay, so all exits of the human body. So usually body odour can be due to an amalgam of things, yeah. It can be sweat left on the skin, bacteria. Are you washing enough? You are. Okay, it doesn't seem you smell like it. No, I didn't say anything. Right, okay. And yeah, it can be due to changes in the weather, getting a bit hot. Not in the UK. Okay, fair point. Mm, hormonal changes, because women can be a bit hormonal. Yeah, okay, sometimes we cry, sometimes we smile. Okay, right. Mm, I'm just trying to think. Right, never mind. Describe what it smells like. Let's start with the feet. Okay, feet smell like sour cream, Pringle sour cream. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Not good, is it? Okay, I'm just gathering my thoughts. Hmm, what about your underarms? You can't describe it. Well, try. So you had your arms up the other day. Why? You're trying to kill someone. Not good, is it? Well, what were you doing then? Stretching. Right. And then a bumblebee flew past. And then what happened? It died on the spot. Oh, sorry to hear that. Home flea wasn't the queen bee. Did you have funeral threat? No, why not? Not necessary. Okay. Right, tell me about your breath then. How does that smell? You talking to your husband the other day? Okay, nice tap. No, why not? He fainted on the spot. All right, okay, not good is it? Sorry to hear that. Did you get back up? Oh, that's good then. At least you got back up. You didn't kill him then. <laughs> right, okay. I'm not good. Why not? Because you're going through a divorce. Right, okay, due to the time, 10 minutes, yeah. I can't be discussing self esteem and your divorce issues. Book another appointment for that because one issue. For a point. Okay, yes. Right. Right. I'm just trying to think. Have you tried exercising? You have. I mean, you start exercising a bit more because it can be due to the weight. Yeah, body odour coming from the weight. You can't exercise. Why not? You've been banned from your local gym. What good is it? Right, what about your groin? What does that smell like? Your local fishmongers. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Not good, is it? Right, what type of fish? Tuna, mackerel. Oh, a bit of both. You're not done. Salmon, haddock. My word, bass. Oh, fish market down there. All right, never mind. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to think, what can I do to help you? Let's have a look at Google, shall we? Yes, let's Google it. Right, come on, let's have a look at Mr. Google. Right, yes. So I have this, which I use myself. Very good. It's the Ordinary Glycolic Acid, yeah. Cotton pad and rubber dub dub, scrubber dub dub, yeah. Okay. No, I can't give you that. No, it's not funded on the NHS. You can have to go to Boots and buy it. Yeah, so okay. Right, and then maybe just try and lose the weight. Because it's not good for your weight at the moment. Let's be honest. Yeah, okay, I mean, that's it really. I can't really do anything else. I'll prescribe you some dermal. Yeah, dermal. Use that in the shower. You need something stronger. I don't have that, I'm sorry. Dermal. You can collect it from boots, okay? Now, off you go, because I've got another appointment. You go away and exercise, yeah, and go away. Collect your prescription. Come back and, actually, I mean, okay, never mind. Yeah, when you go to boots, Maybe just social distance, yeah, face mask, face mask on, yeah, okay, and social distance, because you, you know, we don't want anything, you know, absurd happening in boots, yeah. and come back in three weeks' time if it gets worse, yeah, just keep your distance, okay, right, shut the door on your way out, thank you, bye Holly.